Alright guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm gonna showcase and also open source this status effect system. Um, yeah, uh, I'm one time gonna be open sourcing this whole place by itself and then just a module. To get it, you just have to jump my Discord and there's an open source information channel. Click on a reaction, you get access to the open source channel. Simple. Um, yeah, so now I'm just gonna showcase some of those example effects. Uh, Let's start with this speed effect. You can see it also creates an UI that has a timer that ticks down. You can add effects. You can pretty much add whatever you want. And we can also get some speeds. Now we uh, uh, just <laughs> deny the speed effects. Uh, we can also remove all effects. We can heal ourselves. We can damage ourselves. Okay, that's not really an effect, but that's just the damage part to, t uh, to test the healing. But you also have a burn part we we'll kind of negate the healing effect and uh, uh, then to test the silly part I had to get a basic look because I didn't uh, make it work with those custom EGC heads um, but um, <laughs> yeah it, it just makes it silly you can also easily add it to uh, tools um, like this sword boom and now they are burning yeah it's really not that hard to use so to make the module work though, you have you definitely need to have the um, status effects manager. You can have it wherever you want, but I suggest putting it in server search, then modules, and then there's it. Um, then you have to uh, call the status effects manager tick function um, in the run server stepped uh, function connection. Uh, yeah, with the delta time. So you can also just take the script if you want. And you can ignore this, so this is just for all the parts. You can see uh, how you can apply effects. So uh, send us effect manager dot apply effect. Uh, then you have to uh, give the character. Then you have to give the effect you want to apply. And then the effects always have specific uh, um, yeah, data you can pass through. So here you can configure the damage and the duration of the burn. For speed, it's the boost amount and the duration and whatever, whatever, whatever. So, uh, here we also have, like, under here, we have all the effects. So if you want to make a new effect, you can just uh, copy one of those or duplicate one of those and then change it. They are really simple inside. We just have, let me zoom out. Okay, it's, oh, no, it's laggy when I zoom out for some reason. <laughs> But uh, we have an on apply uh, function in here. Uh, then we have an on tick function and uh, on remove. So on apply is what it says when you get the effect. Um, this is what happens. So for the burn, I'm just adding the particle to the character, also a light and stuff. Then the on tick is the damage stuff and the duration stuff. This is already what we are doing in here. And the only remove is just well what, what happens uh, when we remove the effect. So we're just taking away the particles and stuff. And then we also have the UI preset that's just uh, yeah called when the UI is created to customize it. Um, yeah, you can see here you can rename it. We can already see it. Uh, we can see it again in game. I can just show it. So here we have the. Oh no, uh, we can have the burn apart, so here this is what it looks like. You can also remove this, I just liked it, I thought it was silly. So title burning, then you can customize the background color, the UI stroke color. You can customize the image, the image transparency, the image position, the image size. You can pretty much customize whatever you want. I think for, uh, for something, I... Yeah, for the heal part, I have a different uh, position and stuff. But yeah, you can do whatever you want with this. Uh, but I have the preset for those uh, frames in here. And then here inside the GI, you have the effect holder. And this is just an example. You know, you can customize this however you want by yourself, I think. And yeah. It's really not that hard to use. If you have any questions, I mean, also, most of this is also pretty self-explanatory. You can look at it by yourself, but, well, you don't have to. Um, yeah. 
If you have any questions, as I said, um, don't hesitate to comment or ask on the Discord. Mm, yeah, you can look at everything in here. As I said, I'm gonna be publishing this place by itself and then the module with uh, the other stuff alone. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye. <laughs>